the last video i was so stoked to have 20,000 subscribers fast forward two weeks later i'm sitting at 1.4 million before janelle eliana would go viral gaining over 1.6 million subscribers off of three videos titled van tour how i shower in a van and a q a Before the YouTube community would be split in half, with many starting to question if she was a YouTube plant, while others applauded her for winning the YouTube lottery. I feel like it was a planned effort, that it wasn't just a random girl posting her first video to YouTube and bam, it blew up. Before Janelle Eliana would clock in a quarter million Instagram followers and would sell out almost all her thrift clothes via her website. Yeah, I'm back. Let me know if you're excited to see me by hitting that like button. All right, there's been a lot of buzz going on about this girl's massive rise to fame. Now I've poured over all her YouTube videos, the Reddit posts, the social media stats, and the Pastebin search history looking for an explanation. And I'll get into that a little bit later in this video. But to be fair, I think this girl has checked off a lot of the right boxes to make her virality happen authentically. Now I mean her story and her lifestyle, it's incredibly unique. And she has all the makings of an online digital star. I mean, she's fun, she's positive, she's family friendly, she's resourceful, and uh, well, for those curious, well, she also happens to be single. She could really use a man to help her squash some of them bugs though, you know what I mean? <laughs> I have like literally nowhere to pull over for the next mile, it's like coming closer to me. <laughs> Oh my god, it's, why is it so big? Come to think of it, she could probably also use a little bit of security. Just a thought. Probably a super tight living space, so all applicants, they should provide their own van. I got a feeling she's into dudes who own an RV and have some kind of boa constrictor. So if you're out there, we'd love to set you two up. Tell them before they were famous was the one. It's like a new dating show. We'll find you... I don't know. Let's just hope it's not this guy. Because I saw him making all sorts of videos on Janelle. Like, seriously, girl. Email me. Talk to me. Send me a DM. Like, you know how it works. We're in 2019. Easy, breezy, beautiful. You know what to do. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Michael McCrudden, taking a crack at the life before fame of Janelle Eliana, who is essentially the little Nas X of the YouTube game this year. Now, she's currently experiencing a historic rise, and I got a feeling it's going to be getting only bigger. Now we've dropped tons of videos on other YouTubers in recent weeks. This includes Tana and Jake's wedding and that 16 year old kid Booga who just won himself 3 million bucks. Now we need your comments to keep us on track on who to do next. I was thinking about doing the crying girl from TikTok, but if you guys want us to do that, well you gotta let us know in the comments down below. Also, if YouTube don't start helping out this channel, well I might be living in a van myself. I'll be like Kelso from that 70s show. Jackie, get in the van. No. No. Jackie. No. Jackie, get in the van! <laughs> Burn! Truthfully though, there was a time in my life when I was gonna buy a van for 5,000 bucks, and I planned on living in it. Can you guess how old I was when I was down to do this? Take a guess in the comments down below. All right, finally, let's get into this video. Before they were famous. Before they were, Before. Famous. They were famous about. Oh. That was a pretty good video. I like this guy. Look, Cruddy, cool. you did a great job. Michael job. is never wrong. So damn, that was cool. How did he know that? Whoa! Janelle Eliana was born sometime in and around 1999, and in an interview she gave this year to BonAppetit.com, well, back then she was going by the name of Janelle Long. Yeah, cue the conspiracy theorists. I think there was some type of coordination with some perhaps larger channels that had the ability to push traffic to her quickly. No shade to that guy, but he's starting to remind me of the ancient aliens dude. Okay, so we do know that Janelle's home state is California and that she lived in and around Silicon Valley. Now San Francisco, they have some of the most expensive rent prices in all of America, so the Bay Area makes a lot of sense. It also adds up that she knows so much about van living. Now apparently out there, this lifestyle, it's more common. Now we still don't know much about Janelle's formative years, but she has stated that she lived a pretty sheltered life growing up and she moved out on her own when she was only 18. I actually moved out when I was 18 in like the midst of the night and I have like a very dysfunctional household. 
and I was very determined to get my college degree. I'd be the first person in my family to do so. Despite what many people think, well, Janelle, she's not financially supported by her parents, and when she found out that the college fund that she was banking on for school never existed, well, she decided to pack up her things and move out for mom and dad's. Now, from there, she lived with a friend for a little bit before she got her van. She also started to juggle a part-time job and schooling while in her free time, well, she made a few friends who were already enjoying that van lifestyle. You brought a meth lab to the airport. No, 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 not that kind of lifestyle. More like this. Being able to live freely and keep moving and have that kind of uh, free-spirited adventure is for sure the American dream in a lot of ways. Now Janelle has stated that she already knew all about van life back in high school and has been obsessed with RVs and small living lifestyles for quite some time. Now prior to buying her van, well Janelle's only means of transportation were her rollerblades. Now she spent months cruising Craigslist for her perfect home. That's when she stumbled upon her perfect whip, a 1995 GMC Vendura Limited with only 120,000 miles on it. Now it's a ride that's in fact older than her. Now the previous previous owner had only used it for odd trips to Disneyland and she became an official homeowner at 19, but the van, it still needed a lot of work. The van was completely carpeted and I ripped all of that out and laid three different types of insulations because I didn't know which one to use. I used great stuff, foam spray, a layer of Reflectix and polyiso foam board. While continuing to attend school and sleeping in a hammock or on a yoga mat, well Janelle, she began to customize her space. She pulled out the large bucket seats and back recliner all by herself. She would work on the car in the parking lot of her part-time job. Now at one point, she was working at a sporting goods store and later doing data entry. A local auto zone, they lent her some tools and all the while she had big plans to eventually document her van life on her very own YouTube channel. Alright, so when I need to get into the main cabin from the front, I just kind of lean back. Easy. When she got the van into tip top shape, including an aquarium for her ball python named Alfredo, well, she began taking trips to other parts of California. Now, one stop at Venice Beach, well, she posted this to Instagram. I'm broke AF and have no idea what I'm doing with my life, but I've never been happier and wouldn't change a thing. In early June of 2019, she appeared on the YouTube channel, Apartment Therapy, where she offered them a tour for their series, Tiny Tours. Hey, Apartment Therapy, I'm Janelle and we are in Santa Cruz. This is my home and I'm gonna be showing you guys. Now that video has clocked in 70,000 views and Janelle, she did the smart thing by deciding to post her own video to her own channel. And this dropped on June 26, 2019. First and foremost, I just wanna say welcome to the first freaking video on my YouTube channel. This video is long overdue. I've been living in this van for almost two years now seven months with my baby boy, but I think I am finally ready to share my home with you guys. Things progressed slowly with her receiving 800 subscribers in the first day and 352 views. Now, according to a few posts over on Payspin, she also got featured on a number of websites that are owned and operated out of Nigeria. Now from there, things they started to take off rather quickly, with daily views continuing to compound from 1,000 to 2,000 until it snowballed into the millions. Now she followed this up with her second video uploaded on July 11th, and this one clocked in almost 100,000 views within the first 24 hours. This one, of course, it was titled, How I Shower Living in a Van. The video exploded, clocking in almost 13 million views at the time of this recording, and Janelle herself, well, she was even a little taken back having stated, I have no words to express the gratitude that I feel at this moment, but to be honest, watching the rapid growth of my channel was a little overwhelming. I needed to take a step back from social media for my mental and physical health because I was not prepared for this. She has since decided to put school on hold so she could focus on her YouTube channel, which has since been monetized. Now her full-time job doing data entry, it will allow her to take time off when she needs it, and she plans to hit the road in her perfectly set up van. Now Janelle, she also revealed that she has since reconnected with her family, of course, by pulling up in her van. And uh, although her parents were in disbelief, 
Well, her dad and her sister, they gave her their full support. Now, she's also gotten support from the YouTube community. It feels like so many of the top creators these days, right? It's like, look at my amazing car and my amazing house or houses or my, ma my amazing clothes. And so as that gets more and more saturated, as that loses more and more of its luster, you got Janelle, and I just love it. Obviously, I benefit the most if you click on more of my things after you're done with this video, but I definitely recommend you check her out. But of course, not everyone was thrilled. Now, if you type her name into YouTube, there are countless videos being made trying to deconstruct her massive sub and view growth. Now, some, they conclude that she's a plant, which is someone manufactured and promoted by YouTube. Now, others, well, they're just doing weird stuff like this. Janelle. I need to talk to you, like you owe me an explanation. All those standing fans coming at me like, why? Why are they coming at me? I've done nothing but speaking my truth. Uh oh, looks like we got another sexy vegan on our hands. Now YouTube has even shared some info due to all this blowback that van life videos, they have seen a massive climb in interest, as has sustainable living. Plus, the girl's got great thumbnails, she's giving us longer format videos, she's got a great personality, and she's even got a snake. I mean, what the hell else can you ask for, right? All right guys, I'm wrapping up this video, and I'm thankful that for now, well, I ain't living in a van. But back when I was 17, that's all I wanted. I wanted to be Michael Kelso. And I found one on Craigslist for five grand. It was all red on the outside and in the inside. Velvet red made me want to talk like this. I almost bought it for real. Parents wouldn't allow me. But then they kicked me out of that. I really should have. Anyway. All right, guys. My name is Michael McCredden. It's great to be back. I've got more videos coming your way. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, maybe I'll, I'll have a sleepover with Janelle. If she watches this and she messages me, I'm down. I'm just a big, tall glass of water so it probably won't fit.